Dangerous winds and floods are being blamed for at least seven deaths. Arkansas families left to deal with the aftermath. Governor Asa Hutchinson declaring a state of emergency. Flooding so severe in northeast Arkansas officials have had to call for mandatory evacuations. People have about 10 more hours until they have to be out of here. We was around here in 2011. We knew it. She had to get out. The governor just wrapped up a press conference urging all those people that should have been out at 8 o'clock this morning to leave immediately. Levy is probably going to breach any minute. 35 residents we know are at an emergency shelter at this hour. Just the act of the gods, the perfect storm in the right situation. Instead of cashing in on low prices, he's sizing up how much flood damage he could be facing at his Pocahontas office and storage units. This restaurant here dangerously close to the water overtaking it totally and coming inside at this hour. But officials with the city of Pocahontas tell me that a levee failure to our east this morning actually providing a little bit of flood relief. And I'm told right here it's gone down about three feet from where it was before the levee breach. You can see the parking lot is pretty much entirely drained out aside from a few puddles here and there. Pocahontas gradually starting to pick up the pieces after that river did reach record levels. Cody Grice had several friends help him sandbag the perimeter of his house earlier this week. We got back and you know we got we're dry. We had to pull up all the carpets. I've been through this once before and the other time in hell but it didn't get hardly as high as it did this time. Just as bad as I thought it was going to be. So far officials are estimating that from the flooding about 50 homes were lost and 150 more were damaged. This is pretty bad um, from what I've seen, especially for a small rural area. They, they need a lot of help here.